Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Will you join me in the car with my Thunderpole T3000, which I'm looking to actually take out because I think there might be something wrong. I know there is one fault and it's the LED behind this button here. You can't see that during the day, but you can see it like now. So, the other day I did hear someone call me and unfortunately I wasn't able to get back to them. See, when I keyed up, it didn't seem to be transmitting. Although it said it was transmitting, obviously did the full meter across and everything. The meters on these radios are usually meaningless because they're not really a relative power meter. So I've had a look at the antenna. The antenna seems to be relatively fine. I think it just worked loose actually, wasn't making the proper connection. So that could have just been the fault and that's probably now the fault fixed. I did that off camera. So what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to see if this radio is actually developing any power. It is. Which is interesting. That needle's going right off the end. <laughs> now, I think there's a problem with the mic because it's... Depending on where I've got the mic, it seems to drop off and come back on again like that. So I think there's a problem with the mic plug. Second mic that's, Thunderpole mic that's actually done this, the original one that came with this radio did it, that's the one that came with the T800. So the radio is developing power. This meter says it's developing more power than it ought to be. So let's have a look at, this, look at that, because this is interesting. This is on UK channel 20. Now, it is relative to SWR, so, yeah, <laughs> but I don't think it's even going anywhere near that. So if I tried that on my uh, power meter in the house, I've actually done that and I've actually um, uh, done done some tune-ups on this radio. I've managed to get about three watts into a dummy load, so I'm really not sure why it's reading that high on this meter, unless this meter's just, well, because it's a capo meter, it's absolutely pants. So if I go to SWR setting, make sure we're on the calibrate. No, we're not. We're going to have to turn that. So I know the radio is producing power. A bit more because I've got one hand because I like the same fact I'm just filming on my phone. So uh, I'll turn it a little bit more, I think. Yeah, because I'm getting a full scale deflection on that, which is a bit weird. Not sure why. So that's now at the set point for the SWR. Let's flick it over to reflected. 1.5, I won't um, uh, complain about that. This radio's drawing power and is developing power. It claims it's 10 watts. I don't believe that for one second. So I think the problem is actually the microphone. It's not where I initially thought, but I do want to have a look at that, that broken uh, LED. So it's going to come out and I'm going to have a look just to see what's going on with that. I've just had a suggestion on a thing I've made earlier, note or post, whatever you call them on YouTube, that I made earlier, suggesting I use some switch cleaner on it. I don't think that's going to cure it, but it won't hurt to try. So like I said, it's this one here. So I'd have to take the radio apart properly to show you. But the radio itself is transmitting fine. I just think this microphone might be being a bit intermittent, so I might need to put some switch cleaner in the in the microphone, or I might need to invest in a new microphone. So let's go back to channel 19. There's uh, not the usual rabble on there. I'm actually quite surprised about that. So the radio seems to be working as it as it should be, but I'm just going to have to check this LED out, find out what's going on with it. So because I've got a power lead in the house for other radios that are made by this common manufacturer I can still power it in the in the house I don't have to go and undo all the wiring from the car so looks like I might be okay there's something out there let's turn that off put it back to auto squelch so the radio's working that's, that wasn't tight though that's a bit Anyone? That was my mic problem. You know what? Let's check the mic around this way. Just annoy the 
Yeah, it's annoyed the burner brigade somewhat. Let's go back onto channel 20. Yeah, it seems to be fine, actually. So, I was hoping to put that on the bench and check it, but turns out I might not need to do that. But because I can't check that LED without actually putting it on the bench, then, you know, I don't think it needs to go on the bench after all, but I should still check it, but because the, the, the power transistor's working, it's just reading a bit high on the power meter, but that's because A, it's connected to the antenna, and B, yeah, these are hobby type uh, power meters aren't that accurate. My, my Zetagi one actually seems to be more accurate than it was laying on. So the SWR is actually pretty much spot on where it needs to be. It seems to be fine. So this radio is probably only putting out about four watts. It's nowhere near the, what it was suggesting on here. It's definitely, it's definitely working to pick stuff up. So what if there's something out there today? Hmm, I don't know. Let's just do that. Yeah, there's a bit of noise. Just a bit of local noise that I'd kind of expect. So, it's still going to go up into the house. And it's still going to be put on the bench and properly checked. So, in the meantime, I'm going to put a different radio in here. Um, fortunately, I'd have to run that one off the cigarette lighter. So, now I know the SWR on the antenna is fine. And, most importantly, this radio is developing some power. Now I've got to find out whether I've got a problem with this microphone. Socket feels a bit wobbly, so I wonder if that's it. Or, whether there's something else going on. So, I'll have to get this radio out. I'm going to have to try and remove those sticky pads as well. So, this is going to be the fun part. Taking the sticky pads off. <laughs> so, I've got a radio in mind, but I'd have to run it with a cigarette lighter, which I really don't want to do. So... If this won't be coming out today, I shouldn't think, because I don't think I've got time to do it today. But it will be coming out uh, probably tomorrow, or the next day, or the day after that. But yeah, it's developing the power. Let's put it back to the power mode on this meter. It seems to think it's 10, but I know for a fact that is not doing 10 watts. I know for a fact that's not doing 10 watts. So there you go. So there will be a video coming up of me opening this and having a look at that LED properly. I'm not going to do that this time, but I am going to look at it. So this is this is going on the bench in the next next day or two, and there will be a video of that coming up. But it turns out the diagnostics I've done down here in the car are telling me that it's transmitting fine, although it's allegedly transmitting at 10 watts, which I do not buy for one second. So I don't know where it's got that idea from. <laughs> I'll just check that coax isn't hot. No, it's not. The reason why I'm checking that is because there is a common mode choke on there. Yeah, the coax is fine, it's not hot. Yeah, so it could just be the switch and the microphone that's, caused, that's um, not making properly. Okay, so that seems fine. I'm going to take that meter off now and going to put it back to how it was and we'll go from there. Okay, so in conclusion to this uh, rather short video, where it turns out this radio is actually doing its job. Let's try and do the obligatory 1-9 for a, for a Roger or 1-9 for a rig check. It'll be 1-9 for a rig check. I'll turn that down for people who don't like the sound of white noise. You want nine for a rig check? Yeah, one nine for a rig check. Don't focus on the bloody thing. There we go. One nine for a rig check. <laughs> no, don't expect anything there. Right, so that's uh, kind of sorted out. I'm not really sure what went wrong. It's uh, whatever I've done while fiddling with the antenna and the radio seems to have killed the, killed the main fault. So, 
Yeah. I'll get another radio in here at some point to replace this temporarily while I test this, just to make sure that everything's A-OK -okay with it. The final's definitely OK, but it seems to suggest it's putting out 10 watts. I seriously doubt that. I'll have to check with the spectrum as well, just in case it's doing naughty stuff. I don't think it is, though, because I've not been anywhere near the 54 meg trap. Not that I know where that is in there. Anyways, it's all like teeny tiny surface mount components. And, you know, ugh, that's just the way it's going these days. That's progress, I suppose. So, a quick one. For the... There's a bit of a muck on the glass there. For the Thunderpole T3000, uh, trying to fault find with it. Now, I think the microphone might be a bit dodgy, so it might just require a new microphone or just some switch cleaner in the microphone. Or just a new plug. I mean, I could just put a new plug on that because I do actually have the pin out. I've got a pin out for pretty much almost all radios that were ever made. So, this one uh, will be on my bench in a couple of days' time um, or so. And hopefully, we'll find out if that LED is finished, as is maybe, or it's just uh, being temperamental, which is also a possibility. So, now I know it's working. 7-3 for now, and I'll catch you in the next video. It's just a shame I've got no one to test this with, because uh, no one, not even any of my work colleagues, seem to want to see me in their car. Most annoying. So, but no, I think that's probably because they're worried they have to have a massive antenna like what I've got on the roof of this. Uh, no, no, because I've got two small antennas that will do the job very nicely. And a bit of an advertisement that you don't need a massive antenna. Just degrade the range. So anyway, 7-3 for now, and I'll catch you in the next one. And if I hear you on air, I will try and respond. Hopefully it'll work this time. 7-3 for now.